back to our channel. Today's session, I am going to teach about uh, Elmore constant. So, what is Elmore constant? So, Elmore constant is mainly used to estimate the time constant of switching time. So, it's called as the Elmore constant. So, this session, I am going to find the switching time for NAND operation. So, let me draw the symbol of NAND gate. So it has a two inputs A and B. Output is Y. Now I convert this NAND gate into CMOS logic. So in CMOS logic, first we will check the Boolean expression A dot B, the whole board. So dot operator is present in the Boolean expression PMOS transistor. Connecting parallel NMOS transistor connecting series dot operator present in the Boolean expression PMOS transistor connecting parallel NMOS transistor connecting series. Suppose plus operator present in the Boolean expression PMOS connecting series NMOS connecting parallel. So it's a basic rule to convert the logical expression into CMOS logic. So using this rule, now I am going to draw the structure of NAND gate. So in this Boolean expression, dot operator is present, PMOS transistor connecting parallel. So these two PMOS transistors are connecting parallel. The input of A and B. Then two NMOS transistors connecting series A and B. So it's VSS, this one is VDD, and output date from mid of PMOS transistor and NMOS transistor. So output is Y. So it's a simple structure of CMOS logic. Now I'm going to find the capacitance. So total capacitance of uh, this structure. C out. So C out equal to C fret plus C L. Here C fret represents for total capacitance of field effect transistor. Both P fret and N fret. So P MOS transistor and N MOS transistor. So total capacitance of PMOS and NMOS is called as a C fit and CL represent load capacitance. CL represent load capacitance, C fit represent PMOS capacitance and NMOS capacitance. The combinations of P type and N type capacitance is called as a C fit. Then find the C fit value. So C fit equal to C D N plus 2 C D P. So this C D N represent full down network. So capacitance for full down network it represent N MOS. So capacitance for N MOS transistor it connecting series. And 2 C D P is a capacitance for pull up network. So P MOS. So 2 P MOS Transistors are connected parallel. The corresponding capacitance is 2 CDP. So it's a C fit value. So CL represent load capacitance. Now I find the resistance value. So RP represent resistance for PMOS transistor. So here resistance value is 1 by beta P VDD minus VTP. So VDP is the threshold value, VDD is the supply voltage. So it's a resistance for PMOS transistor. Now I find resistance for NMOS transistor. So 1 by beta N VDD minus VT N. So first you find the output capacitance. Output capacitance in the sense just add C fit plus CL value. So C fit equal to combinations of PMOS transistor capacitance and 
n mos transistor capacitance just add sum of this value on this value to get c fed value then find our p and rm values so in this nat operation the c of capacitance is charging on discharging so when pull up network is turn on so in this case the c out is charging through vdd suppose pull down network is turn on in the sense the capacitance value is discharged through the pull down network so i draw the equivalent circuit for charging so it's rp when pull down network turn on so these two transistors of turn off these two transistors of turn on so vdd is connected to output so before the output one capacitance is present so this capacitance is called as c out output capacitance so it's c out so when pull up transistor turn on the vdd is connect to c out through p mos transistor so in this case the capacitance is charge so charging the c out capacitance so first to find the output voltage v out so v out equal to vd into 1 minus e power minus t by tau p so here tau p is the time constant here t represent for rise time on fall time so in this pull up network this t take it as the rise time so then find tau p value so tau p equal to time constant for the product term of r p on c out so r p dot c out so it's a time constant for this charging capacitance so then find rise time so rise time equal to 2.2 into tau p so just to tau p value substitute in this equation so this can also this can also expressed in linear form so t or equal to t not plus alpha not cl so zero load so zero load capacitance in the sense here so find the t not value so t not equal to 2.2 rp c fed because c out value equal to c fed plus cl so in this case zero load just you ignore the cl value the final equation of t not equal to 2.2 rp into c fed then alpha not is a slope of time so alpha not value equal to 2.2 into rp so so for we find the charging period of uh, t not on alpha not now i am going to draw the structure for discharging discharging capacitance so discharging capacitance in the sense pull down network only turn on pull up network turn off so in this diagram we have two capacitors so one capacitor name called as c out and another called as c x so we have two possibilities to discharging the capacitance value so one possibility is c out so this c out value is discharging to ground so another possibility this b transistor also having one capacitance so thus that capacitance also discharging the value through 
the transistor. So we have two possibilities of discharging. So CX is discharged through this transistor. C out is discharging through these two transistors. Because in this pull down network, the two NMOS transistors are connected series. So V out equal to VDD into E power minus T by tau n. So tau n is the time constant for NMOS transistor. Now find the tau n value. So tau n equal to tau n1 plus tau n2 because we have two capacitance C out on Cx. So first to find tau n1 value. So tau n1 equal to let me take this capacitance is discharging through these two transistor. So C out into these two transistors of anything series. <coughs> Just adding these two resistance value, so R n plus R n. So after addition, you get the result to R n C out. Then tau n two equal to. So let's consider this capacitance value. So C x capacitance is discharging through this transistor. So here R n into Cx. So after finding these two values, just adding these two terms, Tn1 plus Tn2. So tau n equal to tau n1 plus tau n2. So 2 R n C out plus R n into Cx. So in this expression, R n is common for this two term. We we'll just take it out. So R n into two C out plus C x. Then find the fault time. So T f equal to two point two into tau n. So already we find the tau n value. Just to substitute this value into this equation. So two point two R n. Two C out plus C X. So now we substitute the C out value. So C out equal to C fit plus C N. So C fit is the capacitance value. So fit capacitance value and C L represent for low capacitance value. So T F equal to two point two. Or an two into C fit plus C L plus C X. Just to multiply this term into here, two point two or an two C fit plus two C L plus C X. Two point two. So here. I take the load capacitance value outside. So R N two C fit plus C X plus C L into R N two C L into R N. I just multiply this two point two with this value. So two point two. Into R N two C fit plus C X plus four point four C L into R. So it's a T F value. Now this equation is replaced in a linear form. So linear form. T fault time equal to T one plus alpha one C L. So C L represent for load capacitance. Zero delay. So zero load. 
Now find the T1 value. So CL value, just ignore the equation. So 2.2 or an 2 C fit plus Cx. So it's the value of uh, T1, time constant. Then alpha 1 is the slope of uh, time constant. So 4.4 enter or just omit this CL value, zero load condition. Then, so L more constant for this ladder or C ladder. So tau n value equal to R n 2 C out plus C x. So already we found this equation here. We will just write this equation tau n value. So now find the effective capacitance. So C effect equal to 2 into C out plus C x. Here given C effect. So C effect is greater than 2 into C out. Then find the tau n value. So tau n equal to 2 into R n C out plus Cx into R. So the effective resistance of uh, this charging capacitance is or effective equal to Rp by 2 because here the two resistors are connected parallel in PMOS transistor. So resistor parallel formula is R dot R by R plus R. So Rp square by 2 Rp. So this cancel, then finally you get Rp by 2. So this Rp by 2 is the effective resistance. So it's a Elmore constant. I hope you understand the concept.